the learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to locate the following and generate parts of the sphere. You can describe the following terms used as a reference and coordinate system used in navigation. The poles, Earth's axis, equator, parallels of latitude and latitude, prime region, 188 meridian, meridians of longitude and longitude itself. You can also describe a grid circle and a small circle and as well differentiate grid circle and a small circle. You can also describe an international day line. The pools, the Earth's axis, equator, prime region, parallels of latitude, meridians of longitude, and the 188 meridian is one of the few terms that you will encounter on this lesson. The Earth is not a perfect sphere. It is slightly flattened with a smaller diameter, is being 24 miles less than the larger diameter. The Earth's shape is known as an oblique spheroid with a greatest radii on A, approximately 3,443.9 nautical miles and the least radii on D with 3,432.37 nautical miles. Also, the Earth turns about its shortest diameter in P and P1 called axis and the extremities of the axis which are called pools the North Pole and the South Pole. So let's examine this image further in order to know more about this terms. So with this sphere, you will find this one in here. First, we go to the greatest radii and this one, an A it's approximately 3,443.9 nautical miles. And the least radii on B is about 3,432.39 nautical miles. So, the equator and the red circle, it is the equator so as you can see the equator is always an equator even though the line is on the other side of the sphere so that's why it is regarded as a great circle and the great great circle so the meridians we have the prime meridian we have the hundred ethiate meridian as you can see these are all Meridians, parallels of latitude, parallels of latitude, of course it is parallel to the equator, it is also regarded as a small circle. So in here, this is the equator and this is the prime meridian. So the equator is the imaginary line which divide the earth into two equal parts so above the equator there are lines parallel to the equator and they are called parallels of latitude also below there are parallels of latitude so axis axis is the place where the earth rotates the extremities of an axis is called the pools, the north and south pool. You are here if you are the observer facing east. The south pool is on your right and the north pool is on your left. So 
east direction is where the sun rise. So if you are facing sunrise, the south pole is on your right and the north pole is on your left. So remember, horizontal lines are equator and the parallels of latitude. Vertical lines are meridians. There is a prime meridian and the meridians of longitude. The other side is the 180th meridian. The terrestrial coordinate system. Our Earth is a place we live. But where we are, in order to accurately determine where we are or the location of a certain place, we need a reference like an address. A system of imaginary horizontal lines and vertical lines were added around the sphere for the purpose of referencing location called coordinate system or terrestrial coordinate system. The horizontal lines running around the sphere are the equator and the parallels of latitude, north and south. The vertical lines running north, south, south or north are the prime region and the meridians of longitude this one so if you put it together it will form a grid put the numbers then you have now the reference on the spear the parallels and the meridians the most used and primary features of the systems or the coordinate systems are the equator which is used as a reference in measuring parallels of latitude which are represented by the horizontal lines north south of the equator which is measured from 0 to 90 degrees at the pool north or south here it is the equator it divides the sphere into northern and southern hemisphere the next features is the primary region this primary region used as reference in measuring meridians of longitude which are represented by the vertical lines east or west vertical lines east or west of the primary region which is measured from 0 to 180 west and 180 west again measured from the primary region 180 east, 180 degrees west. The equator is an imaginary line which divides the earth or the sphere into northern and southern hemisphere. The reference and measuring latitude of the place or object. Parallels of latitude are those imaginary horizontal lines parallel north and south of the equator which are running east or west and measured from zero from the equator up to 90 degrees north or zero from the equator to 90 degrees south of the equator those parallels 
that are north of the equator are called northern parallels. And parallels south of the equator are called southern parallels. The primary region. The primary region. The primary region is an imaginary line that divides the Earth into two equal parts. The Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere. And the reference of measuring longitude of a place or an object. East or West from the primary region. The regions of longitude are those imaginary vertical lines that are east or west from the primary region and is perpendicular to the equator. There are 180 degrees meridians east or west. The other side of the primary region is called the 188 meridians. The 188 meridians is the other side of the primary region. It also divides the earth into two equal parts. So when you're facing the 188 meridian, your left side becomes your eastern hemisphere and your right side becomes the western hemisphere. The 188 meridian is the boundary of eastern and western hemisphere as meridians of longitude is measured from the primary region until 180 degrees east or west. East or west. So comparison between primary region and the 88th meridian. The obvious comparison is when you're facing the primary region, the eastern hemisphere is on your right side. While facing the 180th meridian, the eastern hemisphere is on your left side. So now we are facing the primary region. So before crossing, when you are traveling from east to west, before crossing the primary region, all the values are decreasing. 60, 20, 0. After crossing the primary region, all the values are increasing. 20, 40, 60, and 80. While in 180th meridian, it is reverse. Before crossing the 180th meridian, all values are increasing. After crossing, it is already decreasing. So the 180th meridian and the international date line. So this is the primary region. And this is the 180th meridian. So the international date line, or abbreviated as IDL, is an imaginary line on the Earth's surface defining the boundary one day and the next day. A portion of this boundary or boundaries are within 188 meridian. So this is the 188 meridian. The IDL is on the red line. So what happened when you cross the international date line or IDL? So when you cross the international date line from east to west, you lose a day. And if you cross the line from west to east, you gain a day. Like for example, if you cross on Sunday and you are from east to west, then you lose a day. So Sunday, then after you cross, it's Saturday again. But if you cross from west to east, then you gain a day. So seeing Sunday from west 
to east, then after crossing, it is already Monday. That's the international dateline. 